This is Deuteronomy 28, starting at verse 64. And it reads, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and falling of eyes, and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of life. So before I continue with this lesson, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings, Salaki, uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. I'm the brother Laya, and I teach with the Great Millstone National Camp. Come back with a quick lesson, and this lesson will be entitled, We Have No Ease Amongst Our Enemies. All right. Us Hebrew Israelites, we do not have no ease or no rest among our enemies, all right? Whether we are, wherever we are scattered at, whether it's in Asia, Africa, here in America, you know, uh, Austria, Japan, Israel is under persecution uh, uh, in every nation, especially here in Babylon, the great America, all right? All 12 tribes are here. But remember, we are as the sand of the sea. And like how in the curses it said that the Lord was going to scatter us from one end of heaven, even unto the other. So in every nation, you will find Israelites, all right? And we're under persecution. We have no rest, all right? So uh, the brother Malachi sent this in the chat yesterday. And you see many instances like this, or you hear about it, all right? It says body-worn camera footage shows Minneapolis, Minneapolis police officers who were serving a no-knock warrant breaking into a city apartment in the early morning hours on Wednesday and fatally shooting a black man asleep on the couch. And you hear this story uh, uh, on and on. Different, different, uh, you know, with different black men, a Latino man, Hispanic man, right? And if you hear about this story uh, dealing with a so-called white man or, or Asian man, most likely... There is lies. Why? Because of the curses. It says that we won't find no ease, no rest. So here you have a Israelite man that will sleep on the couch, right? He was in a state of security. You know, he was at a state of ease, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, you hear Esau kicking the door. He raised up. Well, I don't know how the story went, you know, but I can suspect because, you know, Jake, uh, you know, Jake is paranoid. Living in the hood, living in the ghettos. That's another state of us not having no ease, you know. Uh, we're in continuous warfare, even with ourselves, And that's part of the curses as well. We are surrounded about it. Uh, we are surrounded with the curses, all right. And it states in many chapters that we, we're, we was going to have a uh, trembling heart, you know, fearful. You know, that's why Jake keep pistols and weapons on them, right, because they are fearful. All right, but ultimately they don't fear Yahweh. Why Yahweh shot? They don't fear their God. Neither do they know Him. All right, that's Isaiah the first chapter. So anyway, let me get on with it because I want to make this too long. Jake was in a state of mourning. I mean, uh, <laughs> Salaki, a state of fear. You know, and he don't have no rest. We don't have no rest. All right, so let me read it back over Deuteronomy sixty, uh, not sixty, twenty-eight and sixty-five. And among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, you know, that even goes into us working long hours, you know, uh, Jake will work a double back to back every day, you know, or only have one day off. That's the, that, that's a prime example of us not having rest, you know, and especially during uh, slavery times, you know, let me go to, uh, got something else I want to go to. All right, so let's go to Jeremiah. And, of course, it reads that, uh, not reads, it says that, you know, we're going to serve other gods. So that's why 
we get on our people for serving Buddha, uh, Allah, right? Um, Jesus, right? Because we know that those are not our powers, right? Even Jesus, his name is really Yahweh which means he's a savior. Yahweh Mashiach. Yahweh the anointed, right? Mashiach, you know, uh, in the Greek is, is uh, Christ or Christos, right? But in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah is a synonymous, right? Yahweh is the name of who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls God, which means he exists. Bahashim means in the name of Yahweh Shah, all right? So it's Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. That's who you need to be calling upon, Jake. Anyway, uh, this is Jeremiah 30. So the Lord is going to give us rest, starting with the, really the elect, all right, of the nation of Israel. It says that a remnant shall be saved, all right? Let me get that real quick. All right, hold that on deck. So this is Jeremiah 30 and 10. Actually, let me, let me go to that chapter uh in my bible i got my phone in my bible in my hand so hold on let me go to it i'll turn right to it all right so this is jeremiah let's see what i want to read i think i want to get a little bit more all right so this is jeremiah 30 and i started three and it reads for lo the days come said the lord that I, will, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah. Israel represents the northern kingdom, which is the so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos, so on and so forth. South Americans, all right? And Judah represents uh, the, the, <laughs> the so-called uh, dark tribes, right? The Negroes here in America, the Jamaicans and Haitians, all right? It says, for lo, the days come, said the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, said the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. All right. Uh, verse four says, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. So we don't have peace, man. Because why? We are in the midst of our enemies. We are in the hands of, of, of those that hate us. All right? It's a punishment. And guess what? When we come into power, which we're coming into, these other nations, they're going to have a, a trembling of heart. You know? Uh, they're going to be fearful, sleepless. You know? Because we're going to know. We're going to have the spiritual powers. We're going to know what these nations is doing. You know? We're going to know they're breaking the laws. You know? We're going to know what they thoughts is. You know? Uh, Salakia. And this is another example of us not having rest. And this is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. I got to read this. All right? It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, right? So, Jacob's trouble, hey, that's going to be the real time of us not having rest. You know, we're going to have a trembling heart. We're going to be fearful for the things that are coming upon the earth. You know, our trials and tribulations, true trials and tribulations that we're going to go through. We're going to be fearful, but it's not to fear man. We are not to fear man. We are to fear Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because he's going to send the enemy. Right? And he's going to lift up a standard. Like I says in Jeremiah, I'm not Jeremiah, Isaiah 59. You know, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. You know? Don't fear man. All right? Let me go to the main point. This is verse 10. It says, uh, Jer uh, damn. Therefore, <laughs> fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither. Uh, so like you need to be dismayed, O Israel, 
for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return. It didn't say Amalek, it didn't say Esau, it didn't say Ammon, it didn't say Moab, it didn't say Ham, right? It didn't say Elam, it said I was uh, Jacob, all right? Let's read it back over. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and I see from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, Jacob shall return, Jacob shall return, <laughs> and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. It says, For I am with thee, said the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, where they have scattered thee. So, hey, they're going to come to an end. They're not, not saying that the Lord is going to destroy uh, all 17 of these other nations. No, he's going to break them down. Their military, you know, their, their pride, their, um, I want to say, you know, dealing with their, you know, this current economy, this whole world, where the heathens at the top, uh, at the top they can be put at the bottom in the new world, you know. The only, only nation that's going to be in there is, is the Edomites. It says, Whether I have scattered thee, yet I will not make a full end of thee. So the Lord is going to make a remnant, right? Uh, not make a remnant. The Lord has a remnant, right? If the Lord didn't make that remnant, we would, we would have been at uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. He would destroy the whole nation. But the Lord left a remnant. That's who Yahweh Shai ultimately died for. He died for the whole nation, yes. But starting with the elect. The one third of men, women, and children that actually believed on him. All right, that's how the rest of the other, not other nations. That's how the rest of our people will be saved. They're gonna be saved by being kids in the kingdom. They're gonna be kids of the elect men and women. All right, and the scriptures back it up. If you don't believe it, fuck you. Anyway, it says, "But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished." So we are being corrected. With us is in the truth. We are being corrected daily. All right. We're being corrected and tested. Uh, I can read the rest of this. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Uh, Jeremiah, where's it at? So I can go back. This is why I want Jeremiah 46 is going to say the same thing. Let me turn to it really quick. Let's see. All right, so this is actually going into uh, Babylon, ancient Babylon, a lot of this. So anyway, let me get to the point. Jeremiah 46, 27 says, But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of of their captivity and Jacob shall return and be at rest and at ease and none shall make him afraid so that, hey, that, that's coming that's coming let me see if I got something else this is the same thing like how I was saying Jeremiah 30 and uh, damn I forgot where I was Jeremiah 30 I think it was 12 alright so let me get this in Romans 926 says, And it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, which they say that now. Y'all not the you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are not the Israelites. All right. There shall they be called the children of the living God. Why? Because they're going to see our salvation, like I have spoken of in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Right? I want to I want to get it, but for for a time, <laughs> I'm not going to get it. I really want to get it. You know, the the man of the Lord going to raise up. I mean, uh, yeah, the Lord is going to raise his man up. You know, you got Psalm 110. You know, uh, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Right. Verse 27, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of children. Oh, damn. I told that up. So like it. <laughs> there, uh. Romans 9, 27, Isaiah also, or Isaiah, right? 
also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. It says, for he will finish the, uh, let's see. Yeah, it says, for he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth, right? So we'll be saved shortly, all right? You know, <clears throat> and also too, you know, Revelation 12 and 12, the, the devil knoweth that he had but a short time. Esau, he didn't know he had but a short time. And you also go to Matthew where it says that, uh, except those days be shortened, let me get that. So like, I, I got to get that. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. So for the elect's sake. These days are being short and time is flying. All right. And why is it say no flesh shall be saved? Because you got, you got, uh, what's that word called? You have, uh, damn, tainted food, tainted water, cancer is going up, different diseases, right? Uh, ultimately, they want to give you the juice. You know what the juice is, right? You know, the pokey. <laughs> they want to give you that, right? Population control. Don't want to say no more because they, you know, start the video. Let's continue. And I want to get one more. It's in uh, Isaiah 10. All right, 21, it says, The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall, uh, a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed, shall overflow with righteousness for the Lord power of Salaki for the Lord God uh, I read it for Baal for the Lord God of hosts of armies shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land you know hey so Jacob shall be arrested real soon all right so hope this was an edifying lesson giving our praises on and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Kakudash Shalom.